I actually want to start by saying uh, to Canadians, but also directly to people in the military, that I really recognize the incredibly hard work people in the Canadian Armed Forces do every day and how much we all rely on them. And I thought of that a lot in the spring of 2020 when we relied on the Canadian Armed Forces as a final line of protection and defense for our seniors in Quebec and Ontario. And I'm thinking about it now as someone who is so worried about Alberta. I think you probably are too, Mercedes. And knowing that the Canadian Armed Forces is there is so important. So I do want that work not to be overshadowed. And I want to say to all the people doing that work, we recognize it. Thank you very, very much. But I also think your question was exactly right. And you said, Mercedes, that it seems as if the leadership just doesn't get it. And I think that's true. Uh, I think the reality is there is a systemic problem with the treatment of women, the treatment of sexual harassment in the Canadian Armed Forces. It is clear that there is a toxic culture there. And it is clear to our government, as the Prime Minister said, that that needs to change. And it will. It's not fair to everyone, but especially to the really brave Canadian women in uniform who go to work and serve every day. And like every single woman in Canada, they should not have to work in a place where they face this kind of a culture and treatment. 